two, three here. Working on a uh, bolt carrier group tonight. I shot this the other day at the range and I had a little bit of trouble with uh, failure to eject. And I was using good brass case ammo and it just wouldn't eject the, the last round. So ended up, of course, causing a double feed and so I wanted to just kind of take this apart and I thought I might shoot a video on it on, uh, on lubrication because I think that this was under lubricated and I think that might be part of my problem. So I'm going to take it apart here real quick and we'll take a look at the extractor and maybe clean this up a little bit. It has only been shot once or twice so it's not too dirty but we'll see what we got here. So. Uh, this is a bolt carrier group for any standard Air 15 platform. Most of most of them look like this, or they're silver for like the nickel boron ones. This is a Palmetto State Armory uh, standard. Uh, it's either the standard one or the or the premium one. I'm not for sure. I, I don't recall. But uh, if you can, a couple of the things you want to look for are the uh, the stakes on the gas key, and you can see this one that they fully go into uh, let's see here they fully go into the screw or the, the allen bolt there and so that that's what a properly staked gas key should look like so let's take it apart here real quick and I'll show you where to lube it and maybe we can take a look at this extractor so you can use uh, the tip of a bullet normally to take this pin out, the thing comes out right here and then the firing pin falls loose. Looks like it's a little dirty. And then you can turn this pin right here. Uh, it's, you just turn it. You can't turn it until you have the firing pin out. And then it comes straight out and then you can remove the actual bolt. So this guy looks pretty dirty actually. So a couple things to to test on here is the spring. We can take a look at that and then uh, the actual extractor we can see if it's if it's got good spring tension and everything. So I like to just push down on this. Feels pretty stiff. It is pretty stiff. Looks like that's working just fine. And then this right here has a spring that takes it out after it catches around the round when it fires. And then the, the push-pull of this is what flings the, the round out. So that looks good. Let's see if we can see. So it's not going to show up on camera very well, but all of that looks good in there. I'm going to give this a good cleaning and uh, we'll put it back together. All right, let's give this thing a good cleaning here. Just going to use some uh, hops. I say hops. Maybe it's hopes. I don't know. I've always said hops. I think my grandpa said hops probably why I say hops. There is some definite carbon buildup in, in that bolt there. Let's see if we can break some of that free and then we'll give it a good lube. Try to get it going again. I don't always take this down all the way. This is probably like an every other shooting type cleaning. Firing pin goes in there. I'm gonna get some of that cleaner down loose in here and then we'll, we'll brush it a little bit. This thing was really dry. I probably should have checked it out a little bit better before I shot it. Typically you want your 
bolts running and I ran that all the way through there and it's coming out the end typically you want your AR bolts to be pretty wet there's nothing wrong with them being with them being wet you definitely don't want them to be too dry so I'll show you some points that I I mean the whole thing moves inside the upper receiver so really you just need to lube the whole thing but it does have some rails and things where you can put some oil and get a little bit better placement for it <clears throat> See if I can get all that stuff off here. I like these little picks. You can go around this edge and make sure that there's no buildup. This actually looks pretty clean through there. The back side of the, re or the extractor in there. Now when I put this tip in there, I can see that the back side of the extractor that hooks around the edge of the round is nice and sharp. There's no no dings or gouges or anything so it I can see it a lot better when I have this metal silver metal behind it so the extractor appears to be in good shape so for now I'm gonna say it's not an actual physical extractor issue I'm thinking the whole thing's based on it being so dry now I put it away wet but I've done a lot of different things to this gun and so I think I just let it set too long. All right, so the rest of this thing you can just wipe down. This part doesn't always get super dirty, and, and if you had a nickel boron one, the cool thing about them is they basically wipe clean, and so uh, this one is in not bad shape. You can tell that it's not there's not there's not much coming off on the rag. So I'm gonna focus on the firing pin and the bolt itself. Alright, let's get this back together. Alright, this goes back together just the same way. I didn't clean inside there. I wonder if it's dirty in there. I probably should have checked that out. Uh, it is pretty dirty. Let me touch that up real quick. All right, so these rings on your on your bolt right there, those are actually lined up. There's really not much that you can do to these, but you see how there's a gap. In those rings I've got two gaps lining up so this is kind of like uh, if you've ever taken a part of if you've ever put a ring on a piston uh, on a piston in your car engine it's kind of the same idea you just don't want those to line up I, I don't believe this is part of my problem but I'm gonna go ahead and fix it while I see it so between these three rings that are on there none of those should line up so I've got one I hope this is coming through on the camera. I've got one here, one here, and then one just offset right there. So that's fine. I did have two lining up, but. All right, so bolt goes inside here. This is a cam pin. I believe is the correct name for it and it just twists this way sometimes these are really tight so that locks that in and then you can get your firing pin in Once the firing pin is all the way in, then you just put this last pin in. That's a firing pin retaining. So, so that that lockup feels great. The the gas should be able to rotate that just fine. The um, the rings on there are not too tight. I've I've had bolts that are just so tight inside 
uh, the carrier group that it's um, so you're supposed to be able to flick this I don't know if you heard that but it does pop out that's kind of I call that the flick test so all right um, these I'm gonna point these out here these are where you want to concentrate your lubrication uh, these rails right here can hold oil right here and right here they're on both sides you can drop some oil in right here and that goes to the firing pin and, and to the rings of the gas and then um, uh, I don't usually put oil in these but you, know, you can put oil in there and it lubes the firing pin and then this lubes the back side of the of the bolt itself so so I'm gonna put some I'm just using rim oil there's all sorts of great oils out there uh, this is what I always use here here across there across there now there's nothing wrong with rubbing all across this kind of rubbing it in it's no big deal make sure this is all here and there and then I usually put some on the underside because this runs along as well and then the bolt itself and then we can drop in here to where those rings all right then I usually come across the extractor and try to get some down in the spring of the uh, ejector spring so you're gonna be all greasy and that's just fine if it soaks it up like this is uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more on there this thing was dry so I'm hoping that was what my problem was ultimately although it did need cleaned so one of the two of those should have this issue covered all right well that's how I lube my bolt carrier group so I'm gonna put this in and uh, I'll go shoot it and hopefully that fixed my problem thanks for watching